All right, welcome to the Tokyo Auto Salon 2016. We're in Hall 8 at one end. We're just going to walk down to the other end and uh, see what's interesting. Well, the Liberty Walk stand looks like uh, as good a place as any to start off with. This isn't even the main stand, the main stand's over there. Now I kind of like this new headlight design on the BRZ. I think we found the winners of uh, who spent the most money on campaign girls at the show. I think I found something that I like. Alright, lots of uh, bling and wheels and that sort of stuff in uh, hall number eight. So let's head into the next hall. All right, here we go, the ones that they bring out every single year. Here's the aim gain stand. Actually, this is a really good example of the exact kind of demo cars you need at this year's Tokyo Auto Salon. You've got the, the new Roadster then you have to have a new 86 the uh, next necessary car for you to have on your stand is a lamborghini of some type and here we have the gtr so there you go the uh five different uh kinds of demo cars you need if you're going to have a successful stand at the tokyo auto salon what the hell is that oh wow okay as if those uh benzes weren't bad enough All right, you want to see some weird stuff? We're going to see some weird stuff now. So these are all cars made by students at the uh, Nats College. This one's based on a crown, believe it or not. And they've all got some sort of theme. For example, this one is a Honda Beat, but they've restyled it to look like a Testarossa. And this one here is a Daihatsu Copen, which they've made to look like an old, like 300 or 280 Mercedes-Benz. Here we go, finally found a JZX100 at the Kazama Auto Stand. Here's the 326 power cars. All right, it's Robbie Nishida's Formula D car by Fnats. As a lot of you may know, I do actually own a JZX100, but it's been sitting still for a long time and I've been thinking about getting one of these kits. 500, 550 horsepower. Ah, 
another JZX100 at the DMAX stand. makes a seat designed for people with uh, big asses. So I'm going to go try it out. This one's pretty good. XL. Oh, that's good. Why is there no girl on the GTR? I guess because the GTR doesn't really need attention, does it? happened with the amount of JZX 100s at this show. They made the fender flares out of an old door. <laughs> so again, this is another student-made car from uh, a technical college in Gunma. Drift Jimny. I gotta go and find Shane. Suzuki Jimny, 400 horsepower. 400? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Car Enterprise 1827. So it should be about 400 or so. About 400 horsepower. Three bar. And apparently he said I can drive this yeah, when yeah, it's yeah, done. Why not? Why not? <laughs> you're, not hurt, you're not gonna hurt it with this bar, bro. Look at this. Woo! Wait, wait, do, the, do that again. Woo! You're never gonna lose those side steps. <laughs> Alright, thanks Shane. Great, no problem. See you later. See you. I'll tell you what, I can't wait to see that car actually running. It's gonna be hilarious. Alright, see this silver car? Uh, it's won like that many awards before and I saw on the internet that uh, they were making a gold one I thought oh, they just resprayed the silver one but it turns out uh, they made another one all right that's all from the uh, main hall area now uh, we've still got another two halls and the outdoor drift area to go so let's go there now
we've done in this hall, uh, there is a lot more stuff that we haven't looked at, but as you can see, it's really crowded today. However, first, I think it's uh, vending machine time. Right, Garth? Yeah! Alright, I hope you enjoyed that little tour of the uh, Tokyo Auto Salon, but uh... Hi motherfucker! <laughs> I'm here with uh, Orve from Drift Monkey at Daikoku Fudo. Of course, it's uh, the traditional thing to do after Auto Salon is to come to Daikoku Fudo. So we're going to have a walk around here now. This is not actually a oh, DR30. This is not actually. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is not a cop car. But imagine trying to run, you know, fake cop lights in another country. I know it's a stereotype, but uh, only in Japan. Off Kai. Off Kai. I saw that once in a magazine. Uh, they wrote, they wrote poke, and they spelt it P-O-R-K. Pork. pork. Yeah, it was like tuck. It was like tuck and pork. <laughs> like pork. tuck, flush, and pork. Ah, uh, see, just just for comparison, that is a real police car over there. A, a real undercover police car. So it's not just the show car, this car, it's actually getting driven on the street with this kind of setup. And it is actually a Scion. Okay, watch this. They're gonna they're gonna drive over there, and the music's gonna stop. So we've got we've got the uh, audio vans going over there, and usually what the cops do is they'll roll down there, and everyone will shut off their stereos. Where, where is he? There we go. And they'll probably shut off their uh, stereos down there. There you go, they've turned off their stereos. Stop making a f***ing noise. This is a public area. Blah, 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 blah. You're waking up the neighbors. Believe it or not, that is actually a police station right there. Ah, uh, sorry, over there. Oh shit. Yeah.
That's all for today. It's been a long day. I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. So this is not actually a cop car, even though it looks like one. So we'll, I, don't, I don't know what my funny comment is. Imagine the uh, cut. <laughs> think, think, think of the punchline and then say the.